Hello and welcome. So perhaps you have some issues with your audio. Perhaps you notice them when watching my left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel video, in which I constantly say left channel, left channel on the left channel and right channel, right channel on the right channel. And now you would like to fix it. Now, most of these problems with audio, especially when it comes to left, right balance, I think most of them come from cables or headphones or speakers, maybe just their position in the room, or maybe the amplifier if you have one, or it could actually be the ears of the people listening. But if you don't have the time or money to investigate these issues or fix them, then we can hopefully solve this problem in Windows with software only. And that's what this video is for. Usually you have this icon at the bottom right, speakers, right? You might have to press this button to show them all. But if you right-click this and go to playback devices, then you will see which speaker is playing music. It's ideal if you play some music meanwhile, like I do. You will have this little jumpy thingy. Make sure to be in the playback tab. Recording is for microphones and such. It actually can hear me speaking right now. Huh. If you can't find this icon or right-click it for some reason, you can simply go to Start and then enter Control Panel. Press Enter. And here in this view, the category view, you can go to hardware and sound and then to manage audio devices. Or if you have the large icon selected, just go directly to sound. Or if you have the small icons, again, just go to sound. Anyways, these are the two or four ways to get to this panel. Once you have figured out which device plays back the audio, which you can change by right-clicking and setting set as default device. Uh, Double-click the device or right-click it and go to properties. You can also go to configure speakers and then you will be able to do some tests depending on what kind of setup you have. Anyway, so we're gonna go to properties and here we are. You can give your speakers a name by the way. And the interesting part is in levels. Well, first of all, we can change the volume here. But what we want is the balance. This is what most of you will want to fix stereo problems. Now we, in this case, have uh, five, six channels actually. Left, right, center, subwoofer for low frequencies, rear left and rear right. And we only use left and right, so we can actually modify these. Hopefully you hear the same effect if I mute one of the sides. And perhaps all it takes for you to fix your audio problems is to move one of these sliders slightly to the left. Maybe, for example, let's set this to 50. Oh, we can't do this directly, we have to actually use a slider. You can also click on it and then use the arrow keys to go by single steps. That's very useful. So perhaps now some of you will feel that the audio on your uh, headphones or speakers is fixed. Just listen. Well, to me it seems rather uh, too right-sided, so I'm gonna put it back. Now let's try the same with right being down by 50%. Right. Of course, I encourage you to test this with your own speakers, with your own settings, because uh, the music we're listening to right now, it might not be perfectly balanced, probably. So let's just go back, but basically here you can change the balance of the speakers, and if you have more than two, you can change the others as well. Alright, so that's a perfect solution for some of you. Other than that, we have enhancements and spatial sound. In spatial sound, you can play around with various settings. Just hit apply and there'll be a different effect. Okay, never mind Dolby Atmos for headphones, no idea what that is and why it requires a download. But of course you can also turn it off. For me this just sounded louder actually a little. Alright, now we're gonna go to enhancements which has a, has a lot of options. Bass boost, just press apply. Virtual surround, alright, let's apply. Room correction, now that is interesting not be combined with virtual sound, so let's uh, disable virtual surround. Yeah, virtual surround. And here you have a bunch of things you can go through. This is a flat response with virtual studio microphone. Nope. Uh, right. Step. Uh, 
Right, so never mind this. This is actually for speakers only. I'm using headphones right now, even though Windows thinks I'm using speakers. A loudness equalization, sure, why not? I think this is ideal for uh, movies that have very, uh, very low levels when they talk and very loud explosions. And you can change the settings for this. Release time for this. And if you have headphones plugged in or some other device, you, have, you will have other uh, options here. You will have uh, something for headphones specifically in this list, I believe. And of course, some of these have settings, which this one we already saw. Loudness equalization was rather simple. I'm not going to use that. Bass boost also has two settings, which you can play around with to see what is best for you. But I'm going to turn all of these off. You can also have them on and then just use this to switch them on and off. And this is it. Of course, the most important part is here in levels the balance, which you can manually configure. And once you set these changes and save them, hopefully your audio problems will be resolved. If you have any problems at all, please write in the comments. If this did help, please write in the comments, let us know. And of course, please subscribe to support this channel, and I hope to see you in the next video. But hopefully you will not have any audio problems left. Until then, ciao!